Salvete omnes. If you'd like to support the channel along with these patrons, there's a link in the description box below. Or you can become a member on YouTube by hitting the join button below. In this lesson, we'll find out how Hercules escapes from the grips of the cruel king in Egypt. Manus Hercules Atenis Pereis Winctae Sunt et mola salsa in caput eius in spersa est. Mos enim erat apud antiquos salem et far capitibus victimarum imponere. Iam victima ad aram stabat. Iam sacerdos cultrum sumpserat. Subito tamen Hercules magno conatu vincula herupit. Tum ictu sacerdotem prostravit, altero regem ipsum occidit. Okay, let's break this down now. Manus Hercules Atenis Pereis Winctae sunt, et mola salsa in caput eius in spersa est. Have you ever seen on the periodic table that the square for iron contained the letters F-E? This is because the Latin word for iron is ferrum. Catena also has a connection that not many people might know. It is found in the words concatenation and catenary. If you're really into math, you might know that a catenary is the shape a chain or cord makes when hanging like this. And a concatenation is a series of united links. So a catena is a chain. And remembering one of the words we just learned, what do you think winktai sunt means? We're bound or tied up. So the first half is, the hands of Hercules were bound with iron chains. And what are molars for? For grinding up grains, nuts, seeds, and all the healthy foods humans are supposed to eat. And salsa is the feminine form of salsus, which means salty. So this means salty ground meal. This was a kind of salted flour that was prepared by priestesses and sprinkled on the forehead of those who were about to be sacrificed. The word immolation comes from in plus mola. And you can probably already guess what inspersa est means since I already said it. So we have and salty flour was sprinkled on his head. Mos enim erat apud antiquos salem et far capitibus victimarum imponere. Mos is more understandable in its plural form, mores. This means custom or manner. Apud is a preposition meaning among, which triggers the accusative. And far is faro a type of wheat. So this means, for it was customary among the ancients to place salt and wheat upon the heads of the victims. Yam victima ad aram stabat. Yam sacerdos cultrum sumpserat. An ara is an altar. Somehow this is connected to ash. And in the word sacerdos, you can see the connection to sacred, right? This is a sacred or holy person. In other words, a priest. And kulter looks a lot like cutlery, no? This means knife. And to presume is to take for granted. So sumpserat means took. And we have, now the victim stood at the altar. The priest had already taken up the knife. Subito tamen Hercules magno conatu vincula herupit, tum ictu sacerdotem prostravit, altero regem ipsum occidit. The noun conatus is connected to the ancient Greek word kinesis, which means to set in motion, but the connection is tenuous because this means attempt or exertion. Per is a prefix which means very. And rumpo is connected to rupture, so perupit means broke through. And this first part means, Suddenly, however, Hercules broke the chains with a great effort. The word ictus is connected to incursion and means a strike or blow, but is in ablative. So this middle part means, 
Then with a blow, he prostrated the priest. Alter is an adjective, so it needs to refer to a noun, and since it means the other or second, and it's in the ablative, it should be pretty clear that this is referring back to the word ictu, which is left unstated. So this ends with, with another blow, he killed the king himself. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and if you can, help support the channel on Patreon, where there are audio downloads and transcripts of each dialogue and story. Gratias!